not only never been a more interesting or important time to be an entrepreneur, but there's never been a better time. To be an entrepreneur means to, to have a, this magic and this uh, illusion just to make a project a reality and how, how to make this reality something that provides benefit to the society. It means excitement, it means me looking for opportunities, it means me having the opportunity to network and partner with organisations that may be slightly bigger than, than us. It means lots of late nights, lots of trips to lots of different places. Um, it also means a great sense of satisfaction when you achieve something that you set out to do over a long period. A lot of hard work. <laughs> And, uh, and I have to say a lot of, a lot of excitement, being on the, uh, on, on the cutting edge of, of new technologies, this is, this is something very, very exciting. Small companies can now have the capabilities of large companies without the main liabilities, which are deadening bureaucracy, legacy systems and cultures and so on. And uh, this is basically a good news story for all of us. Being an entrepreneur is meeting people, convincing them that you can share value with them, and then share the benefit of those values. To explore new opportunities quickly. Bigger companies I've worked for in the past were slow to react to ideas. So being an entrepreneur is about freedom and control. The time has come for the new web for a new generation of young people for whom this new medium of communications is their birthright. The time has come for some profound changes to the architecture of the corporation and the ways that we innovate. Profound changes. Profound changes. And you know, being an entrepreneur means trying to manage all the resources that you have, but most important of all, trying to be always updated on what is the latest innovation. Constantly looking uh, how to improve things and how to be of uh, better value to your customer. Having an extremely open mind, having the ability not only to look, but to see, not only to hear, but to understand, and understand both the needs of my clients, but see how the world is changing, and sometimes explain to them but look, what you're doing today is great, but you're still thinking in the, la in, in the category of uh, the last decade or three years ago, and actually the world has gone uh, a few steps forward, and I'm happy to be here because I think I will help a lot of people to open up their eyes. the innovators, the risk takers, the creators of employment, growth and wealth. You are the people who drive the European economy. We are providing finance either to equity funds like venture capital funds and they are the ones who then decide which businesses they want to invest in. That's their job as technical people, as investors. It's not our job as provider of funds. The second things we're doing is we are providing guarantee schemes to banks and securitization schemes. That helps banks and guarantee schemes throughout Europe to uh, finance their small and medium uh, entrepreneurs. The biggest challenge is how we are all going to share the risks of the growth of entrepreneurship. And should entrepreneurs accept all the risk or should they share that with other people? And if they take all the risk for themselves, they should have all the rewards for themselves. But if they share, we can all share the rewards. It's about making a difference. It's about creating change. It's about challenges. And uh, I don't ever use the word barrier. The word barrier doesn't exist to me. It's all about new challenges. In the past, it was important to know what the goal is, where you are going. And now, with the economics around, it is more important to know how things will be changing. That's what makes Europe such an exciting place, because although we're all connected, we also, also can be very different, so there's a lot to learn from each other.